Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I am here to do a mini unboxing. I got the letter, and I opened it already because I wasn't sure if it was personal or if I could share it, and I can share part of it. So I'm gonna, I can actually share the whole damn thing, but anyways, um, please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around, I really hope you do stay. I'm gonna do a quick reading after this um and i do have some story time story ideas i might do a little poll on the community tab i haven't decided yet but we shall see and just so you know i have not picked a winner for the patreon drawing yet so if you still want to join me over on patreon you could be in the running to win the exposed oracle it is 80 cards what they're thinking feeling wanting to say to you kind of thing like Please forgive me for not being there for you when you needed me the most. Ooh, someone's regretting something. I feel like there's someone around you. You supported them a lot. Like, you're a really good friend to this person. But I feel like they kind of shrugged you off, pushed you away. They weren't there when when you needed them. It's it, They didn't return the favor. I feel like they took you for granted. And some of you are you know, kind of washing your hands of this person, looking in a different direction, or just wondering if you should. And this person's regretful of their actions because they know that they're better than that, that they have the capability of being supportive, um, of at least being a friend to you, and they're not. I, I feel like it's because they have mixed emotions. I feel like this person actually is in love with you, but they... <laughs> They haven't fully admitted it to themselves. So it's like they know how they feel, but they're still kind of denying it. It's like the heart screaming for you, like, just do it, just do it. You know you love them. And their head's like, no, 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 no. You know, bounty. That's what I was just singing. The quicker picker upper. They want to clean up the mess that they made. They know they need to clean it up, but they don't know how. Hmm. They're an ass hat. And it's funny because I had one of my lovely, lovely subscribers. I can't really, I don't think I can read their name. I'm sorry, the handwriting. I, I can't really read it. Oh, I think it's Constance or Constantine. Hey lady, hope you like, we'll send stickers when I can. Thanks for everything. This is awesome because <laughs> this person, emailed me about this and had um because I always say ass hat and they were wondering if it was like a Maine term a New England term or if it's like a me thing and it's kind of a me thing it it, it all started between me and my aunt and we swear like fucking sailors and um she used to I mean she says a lot worse stuff than I do she's not the type of person to put on speakerphone but anyways that's where ass hat came from was through us making up shit <laughs> and this person drew an ass hat <laughs> i fucking love it i'm like this is epic so yes send me stickers if you can make these up that is amazing i'd put this on my car i think that's awesome and i thought it was hilarious just like the what this person envisioned because <laughs> this is not it's not what i thought of when i say it it's um hats don't belong on asses so it's it's almost like it's describing someone who's an asshole who's a jerk and they're kind of misguided misconstrued or a little kafuckled if you know what I mean in the head that's what an ass hat is but anyways that is epic and I fucking love it and I'm feeling like some of you are dealing with an ass hat that's how this person feels anyways because they know it's all the shoulda, coulda, woulda bullshit. And I do feel like it's starting with friends, like a friendship, because I was drawn to use the friends um, tarot deck in this situation. So I feel like there's like some nostalgia tied to this. So you've known this person for a while. Um, you could have been friends with them for a long time. Like it's almost like how do we transition from friend to, to lover or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, it could be same sex, doesn't matter. It's just energy. It's not gender specific. So keep that in mind. Um, but I, I just, I feel I want more with you, but I, but how do, how do I fix the mess I made? Because 
I wasn't even there for you as a friend. Like, why would you want me as a romantic partner when I totally fucked things up between us, even in a friend capacity? I don't know. This person was a crap friend is what I'm feeling. But there's love there. And they're they're uh, reflecting and they're feeling pretty shitty about it. Pretty much. That's what I'm getting. So let's see what's in here. Like I said, I'm feeling like a sense of nostalgia. It's like, bring me back to the good old days type energy. So maybe this is retro. What's the good old days for you? It's different for everyone. How do I open this fucking thing? Gosh darn it. Wait, wait. How does this open? I'm having a moment. I'm being an asshat. Oh, that's why. I thought that was connected. It's just taped. Never mind. <laughs> All right, this is what I see so far. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is awesome. It's a giga pet. <laughs> it's those virtual pets like the, you're supposed to keep them alive. And this was a motherfucking unicorn. Oh. It matches my eye, my eyeshadow. Oh my goodness. So I'm not only going to go back in time, back to the motherfucking 90s when I was a kid, and be able to raise my little pet again, my digital pet, which it annoyed me back then, so it'll probably annoy me now because I neglected my Giga pet a lot. <laughs> And I, my, I think it was my mom. I don't know. It was someone that was like, if this is a testament to how you're going to be as a mother, then I feel sorry for your kids. But it's a good thing. I didn't neglect my children. Just just my digital children, child, pet, whatever. So we'll see how I do. But it has real unicorn sounds. <laughs> uh, I think it also has a phone app or something. So this isn't like 100% retro, but it definitely brings me back. And I know that this was sent to me because I got this little retro Pogs backpack, um, which actually, you know, fuck it. We'll do this in the reading too, because we'll go way back. But I just thought it was so cute because on here had the little Gigapet, fuck you, <laughs> the Gigapet, um, are you kidding me, keychain on the backpack. I still believe. And before I even recorded, you know what song popped in my head? Um, I'm so addicted to all the things you do when you're going down on me in between the sheets. Is that by Shine Down? I don't know. I get Shine Down and Saving Abel and see they're all mixed up, but I think it is Shine Down. And I do feel like there is a bit of addiction here. It could be literal um, or just somebody with addictive tendencies where they're addicted to you. They're addicted to sex. They're addicted to uh, the feeling that they get when they're around you. And I feel like that might have scared this person off, which is probably why they were kind of a shit friend. Um, because it's like when it's like I have so much fun when I'm around you. I love talking to you. You're you're funny. You're fun. You're this. You're that. You're whatever. But I want so much more with you, and I just want to rip your clothes off and do you, do you, do you. If you know what I'm saying. But I can't bring myself to do it. Like, it, I feel like a lot of it has to do with they couldn't bring themselves to do it, even though they really want to, is because this person is not ready for a commitment. Um, they could still be kind of childlike, at least the way that they think, because um, we do have toys here, you know, and it's going into the reading because I was thinking nostalgia when I first started recording or before, but there could be children involved as well if they're not being... Um, childlike, but I do feel like this person is a little immature, just gonna say. But I don't know if this Giga Pet, whoops, I just threw my pogs everywhere. I'm gonna use pogs in forever. I love this. I'm so excited. But, anyways, let's see, because I gotta move all this shit. No, it does not tell me where it's from. 
I mean, this comes out of California. Maybe the person who sent it. If you sent this to me, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to anyone who has ever sent me anything. You know, past, present, and everything to come. I am truly thankful. I'm truly grateful. You guys are fucking amazing. Like, I love doing the unboxings because they make me feel so loved. And I was actually just reading through some old journals of mine. And I only write in journals when I'm upset, when something bad happens. Because it's like a way for me to get it out without having to talk to somebody. And, you know, some of the story time stories that I've shared before... It took a lot for me to say a lot of that stuff because I'm a Scorpio for one. I'm very, I'm a very private person. It's like I'll share so much. I'd rather you tell me your stories and I give you advice. Um, I'll be a listening ear for you, but I don't like to talk about myself. But I will because I know that I need to sometimes. It's, it's therapeutic and for many different reasons. But you know, I get kind of lonely and I was reading through some journals and stuff and just realizing that I felt this way for a very fucking long time. Like I have moments where I don't and I'm good and I am good on my own. And, um, I mean, I, I feel like I could probably be alone for the rest of my life and be fine. I'm kind of a recluse anyways. Like I am a hermit and that's, I don't know. It's like, I love people, but I hate them at the same time. And it's not that I hate individual people. It's, I don't really like crowds. Um, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it because I want to help people so much and I love being connected. But at the same time, I don't even, I, I pull away from people a lot. Like I'll do really well. And then, and I'm saying this for a reason because I feel like this is what your person's going through. Like why they act the way they act, I guess. Um, it's a similar, it, it's similar to what I, to what I'm explaining, but I don't know. Like it's really, I feel like a lot of it has to do with, you know, past disappointments, um, you know, cause I've been in and out of abusive relationships. I grew up with, you know, in an abusive household and all that shit. I've already shared, you know, my daddy bullshit stories. Um, and I've gone through a lot in my life and I have, I've only touched the surface of some of the crap I've been through, but it's hard to, I guess, fully connect when, when you have a difficult time trusting, trusting people. It's like trusting their motives so I guess the best, my best advice with, with any of this is if you ever feel that way, like just trust yourself. You don't have to trust the other person. Trust your, trust your gut, trust your intuition. Um, so for example, your love interest, you, you know, you're having a hard time letting them in, or this could be on their end, whichever flip flop, vice versa, having a hard time letting them in because every other motherfucker in your past has always let you down. They hurt you. Maybe they abused you because there's varying degrees here, but you were let down in some way, shape or form. So therefore you you don't want to be let down again. You don't want to be hurt again. So we build that wall. And then when somebody good comes along, we have a hard time removing that wall. And some people lose patience as well. And it's like, well, you know, I don't really know if I want to be that invested because you seem pretty damaged. You handle your own shit and then, you know, come back when you're ready type thing. And because some people are that way. But I almost feel like there's an automatic distrust. Like, I just can't trust you no matter how, how nice you seem. No matter if I have all these feel good feels and um, happy vibrations around you, I still can't trust it because of my past. That's you ignoring your intuition because your intuition is obviously telling you that things are okay, that this person is safe to be around. Um, they're safe to open up to, but you're twisting it because you don't want to believe it because you haven't experienced that happiness. Um, you haven't experienced that loving feeling before or any time that you did, you associate the lovey feels with pain because every time I fall in love, I get hurt. Every time I open up, I get hurt. That doesn't mean that everyone's going to do it to you. So just listen to your gut, not your fucking head, because that will fuck you up. Just going to say. So I'm going to put this up here for now. And let's see what the pogs have to say. Um, I might make a mess because I don't slam shit very often, but what's up? Well, that one went a flying, but it flipped. It's the only one that flipped. And I read the instructions when I got them. You only read the ones that flip. I can't wait to get more of these. Destiny. And it's retro, too, because this is almost looks like uh, Mario 
game for like Nintendo, a Nintendo game. <sighs> destiny. I do feel like I just heard your destiny awaits. So let's see what this has to say. Cause I think this is, oh no, I thought that was a Halloween one, but it's not. The pet, the fucking past. What did I just say? The past is coming back. The past is your destiny because the past just flipped over. So I guess I'm reading both of those. Your destiny, the truth to your destiny lies in the past. Someone that you have been friends with, that you have known, even if you were just acquaintances. There's a strong connection between you and a friend. And this is someone from your past. It's like you got to let go of the past to move forward. And the past is just, it doesn't exist anyways, if you really think of it, because only the here and now exists, because the future doesn't exist, because by the time we get to the future, it's the now. Does that make sense? Yeah, we have memories of the past, but if you believe in like multi-dimension theories and shit like that, it's everything's running consecutively. So the past, the present, and the future is all happening now. I'm not getting into it, but... A memory is resurfacing, basically. So, what you thought was gone is not gone. It's in your destiny. It's here. So, I'm just going to read the destiny one because... Well, no, maybe not. Let's see. It's like, get out my handy dandy notebook. What does this say? Oh, first one. The inevitable passage of time reminds us that nothing is permanent, which is so true, and that's probably why the past is coming back around, lessons tied to shit, but it's someone from the past, it's not just memories, and I was, I said nostalgia, what did I say, whenever I say shit, it just fucking happens, um, I was reading a diary, that's the past, none of those motherfuckers better show up, I'm just gonna say, cause I was reading about my breakup with MV, Actually, you know, I might read that to you if I have enough time. 16 minutes in, that might create a tower moment. Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, I'll set this to the side. If not, I'll do it in a different video. But, um, yeah, someone from the past is returning. Because there's unfinished business with this person. And I do feel like you're meant to move forward with them in a romantic sense. But someone's got to get over themselves. You are transforming into something new. Shedding your skin, say, uh saying farewell to an old part of yourself, to an outdated aspect of yourself, to the overthinking, cleaning out the attic. Um, I feel like it's letting go of what once was. So if any of you have dealt with addiction, you're letting shit like that go. You're letting your wrongs go because a lot of times what holds us back the most in life and moving forward in any area is ourselves, is our own self-limiting beliefs. Like, you know, because I failed at this, because I fucked up here, because I did this or I made this shit choice or blah, 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 whatever. That's why things aren't moving forward for me. That's why things aren't better now. That's why I'm behind that. You know, that's why all this negative bullshit surround. No, it, all the choices that we make, all, chalk it up to lesson learned. If you haven't learned the lesson, it will come back and you'll repeat it until you do. But don't beat yourself up over making a shit choice, over letting someone go, something go, um, choosing to do something you shouldn't have done, saying something you shouldn't have said. You know, like, I feel like this person, whoever you're connecting to, is regret regretting how they treated you. Well, that's a useless emotion. You know, it, just chalk it up to a lesson learned and man up, woman up. And fucking speak your truth, you know? Like, don't sit here and wallow in self-pity going, Oh, I should have said this. Oh, I should have done that. Or, you know, I, w I wish I could turn back the hands of time and take back what I said. Or say something instead if I said nothing. But you can't. So all you need to do is go, hmm, I won't do that again. Um, I like this person as a friend or a lover or whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. I'm going to make it right today because today is what matters. Not fucking tomorrow and not yesterday. Today is what matters. End of story. <laughs> I don't know. I went on this like all, all holier than thou fucking rant. Sorry. But I feel like somebody needs to hear that because you're just holding yourself back. Or this person is. Remember, if I say he, it could be she. If I say you, it could be them. Flip flop, vice versa. Take it where it fits. All that happy shit. Um... Gosh darn it. 
Sit down wherever you fit in. If you don't fit in, stand the fuck up. Get the hell out. It is what it is. Anyways, I'm not messing with that. So let's kind of see what the overall energy is. I kind of feel like it's regret. Um, you know, someone wants a do-over. They want to right a wrong. S fucking sea turtle. I'm telling you, turtle power. Ooh, let's move slower than cold molasses, shall we? Jaguar release. Yes. There is something that somebody needs to release. I feel like a lot of you have released this person, this connection to whoever it is because there was no forward movement because they were moving slower than a motherfucking turtle. Like, um, somebody could have even pushed you away, told you off. I don't know, but it's like, it's time to let go. Cause I got to do me. I got to worry about myself. Um, if you don't want me, whatever, somebody else will kind of energy. And this person doesn't want to release you but they feel like you've released them, something like that. So we'll see. Stability. Well, slow and steady wins the race is what they say. And that is true in most cases, but you have to put the work in. You can't just sit idle and think, you know, just go round and round in your head and isolate yourself and not move forward. Um, nothing's gonna happen between you and this person if you just sit here and wonder. But I do feel like somebody is working on their stability. I just heard that's an excuse. So somebody told you that they are focused at work or they're too busy with work, like they're a workaholic energy. Um, they could be a workaholic. They might be working some overtime and, and actually be busy. But we make time for those, for the people that we want to make time for and the things that we want to make time for. So if this person really wanted to make time for you, they would. Even the busiest motherfuckers do, you know. Um, so that's a cop out. It's an excuse. This person was saying, I, you know, I can't move forward with this um, because of their stability. There, there was something in the material realm that was holding them back, basically. Like, I need more money. You know, I got to change my living situation. Something like that. It's like my stability matters most to me right now. And I can't focus on a connection with you or moving forward romantically because I have my own shit to deal with. Which, you know... There is a little bit of truth to that, but like I said, we make time for the people that we want to make time for, and this person was using that as a cop-out, and they know it, and that's why they're regretting their actions, because I feel like they missed you. So this person's intentions towards you, please. Let's see what the friends have to say. Nine of Wands, well, they got a motherfucking wall up, but this is, they don't want to give up. Six of Pentacles which is equal give and take. Yeah, this person, as you were giving to the situation, they you were met with a fucking brick wall, basically. I feel like this person is very defensive. Um, they'd only let you in a little bit, so it wasn't, it wasn't balanced, but I do feel like there's perseverance here, and this person wants to come in and right a wrong. They, they want to give to you like, like you gave to them. Um, for some of you, this person wants to give you a gift as well, but I just feel like this is like the wounded warrior and poor Ross in the show friends. Like, you know, he got into some sticky situations, divorce after divorce, nothing ever worked out for him, but he didn't give up. And that's the moral of Ross. <laughs> so you don't give up either, you know, and this person doesn't want to give up on their own situation or this situation between the two of you. It's like, I want change. And I know that the only way to get that change or to change things between us is to push through the painful aspects of this and actually make time for you. So this person's intentions are to um, make a reappearance and actually put some effort in, which I feel like will shock you, but it will also make you really fucking happy. They were selfish as shit before. Um, they were just thinking of themselves and you were thinking of them, which is why they feel like a shit bag. So let's see this person's Three of Cups, yeah, they want to reconcile and have a connection with you out of motherfucking nowhere with the tower here. Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, but definitely Scorpio, Taurus. Mm, sudden communication, that's what the tower is. This is their action. They're going to come out of nowhere. Miley Cyrus is in the building. Coming in like a motherfucking wrecking ball. Boom, bitch, I'm here. Um, like This person could be coming towards a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone who's very intuitive, very loving, caring, giving, nurturing, or um, 
that's who this person is to you is a water sign or just someone who's caring and nurturing and, and very fucking intuitive. There's lots and lots of water here. So there's lots of emo emotions tied to the situation. I strongly feel like this person knows that they screwed up. They want to um, recalibrate the scales, bring balance into the situation. They want to reconcile with you. This is also friendship, hanging out with friends. But this is commitment. This can be higher, higher learnings. Um, somebody might be... Um, learning more about spirituality or th their own religious belief systems, whatever that may be, but there's like a higher knowledge. So if this person didn't believe in the twin flame journey or soulmate journey or anything like that, I do feel like they, their soul's evolving because they're, they're feeling a strong soul connection between the two of you. There could be telepathic communication here as well, but I feel like they're recognizing who you are to them and they want to reconcile with you. I feel like I want a relationship with you. So in their heart space, you're my best friend. It's like falling in love with my best friend. I want, I want to make this work. Um, I've never wanted to make something work so bad in my life. And that's why I feel like someone's going to bite the bullet and just, poof, oh, I'm here. And they're going to be honest with you for a change, or you're going to be honest with them. You might be the, you might be Miley Cyrus. Who knows? <sighs> Let's see. Can I get more on their intentions, please? This is their intentions. Can't make this shit up. Love offer. It's what I just motherfucking said. New door to romance. Yep. They want to give to you. They want to give to this. Affection. Lovey, dovey, passionate PDA. And that's with three of cups and hierophant. This person fucking loves you. Traditions, morals, values, family roots. This person might want to have a family with you. But I feel like if you thought that their family didn't doesn't like you or your family didn't like them or there was some type of animosity with people surrounding you or this person or both of you they don't give a flying fuck about that no more um i feel like we have we share the same values like you understand me to my core we believe the same th in the same things um i feel like you two are very similar but yet different it's almost like you are you're so much alike, but the way that you present yourself or the way that you deliver information is very different. So your exterior is different, but your interior is the same. Um, I just, I feel like you might've known this person since you were a kid, cause there's family ties here. Maybe your families have known each other or you have a family with this person or you want one with them or them to you. But I just feel like we share the same values, the same morals. Um, we've been through similar things and you understand me unlike anyone else. And that's what this person wants to come in and tell you. It's long overdue. Self-love, taking care of me now. That's what this person's been doing. I feel like you've been doing that too. And they might have been telling you that they were just working on their stability, but they were working on themselves. So the stability that they were working on, even though they were telling you it was external in the material realm, it's actually internal. This person was learning to appreciate themselves, to love themselves, to realize their value, or that's what you were doing. And I do feel like they're amused to you or you to them. Um, like you inspire me type energy is what I'm feeling. So let's see. I'll use the epiphany deck real quick. Can I get a little bit more on what's gonna, what's coming between the viewer and this individual, this friend? This soul bond is sacred. What the fuck did I say? I said that with this. No, I said that with the hierophant. Whatever. Same category. Soul mirroring, mirroring, exposing and revealing all. That's what this person wants to do. And that's what they're going to do. Because like I said, you guys might be different externally. But internally, internally, you two share the same values. You're one and the same. It's like I met my motherfucking match. I never thought I would. I never thought I could. Spiritual work and self-discovery. Yeah, with self-love too. It's hard to say goodbye. It is hard to say goodbye. I feel like someone, one of you was forced to say goodbye. You had to walk away. And the other person's like, I can't. I just can't do it. I can't let this slip through the fucking cracks. Like, what the fuck? What am I doing? Why am I acting like a jackass? What an ass hat. All right, what does this person want to say to you? You're so sexy. You're so sexy. You got going on. 
the grass wasn't fucking greener as I just saw. So some of you could have experienced this person trying to move on with somebody else. You make me feel so comfortable. I can be myself around you. Yeah, because you guys are very similar internally. This person misses the shit out of you. I don't feel like you dated them. I feel like you wanted to. It didn't work out. Some of you could have, though. I keep tabs on your social media to see what you're up to. If you're watching me, talk to me. I don't know who you are, but talk to me. <laughs> Just kidding. They're keeping tabs on you. Um, and for some reason, I feel like whoever's coming towards you, whoever I'm picking up on who was very reserved, um, they're, they're the ones that are watching. But I do feel like you or the other per whoever, um, whoever is not spying is still kind of keeping tabs, like a check in here and there. But someone's actually like heavy watching, like they see everything you post, no matter what platform we're talking about. Even on like social media sites that that you don't think they know you have, they know you have it. They found you. They, they're seeking you out on all these different um, platforms. It's like, I need to know. Whatever you're not posting on Facebook. Is it on Twitter? Is it on IG? You know what I mean? Something like that. I feel stuck right now and don't know what to do. Well, speaking. Speak your truth. That's what you need to do. Or that's what they need to do. I would do anything to just talk to you again. I would do anything to just talk to you again. Some of you might suddenly reappear in their life um, and reopen the lines of communication. You're going to notice that it's changing because this person is praying that, <laughs> that you'll talk to them. So something happened where they feel like, feel like an asshat. It's like, I don't know if I, can, if I can get this off the ground again. I don't know if I can move this forward. But all I want to do is talk to you. So, like I said, if this person can't get the balls to come in, you might take that step and then it's going to progress into something more because they're going to take it as a sign like, wow, my prayers have been answered. You, you messaged me. I didn't think you ever wanted to talk to me again and here you are. So now I can say what I need to say because my prayers were answered basically. That's what I'm getting with that. Let's get a fortune cookie card and then we'll call it. Alrighty. Personal riches. Small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get rich schemes. Yeah, so things are doing like you're doing really well in life. Um, forever I'm talking to, I feel like you might have hit a speed bump or two. Um, and some of you might be in in the space of is change ever gonna come? Yes, it is. It's it's here. Um, I do feel like you've gotten a taste of the rich life or whatever, of things improving um, over the course of last year, like slowly, like little little bits and pieces, like a little sip of it. Um, and it's here now. So moving into summer, basically. This month, May and June are very significant for, for your finances, for a financial increase. An increase in popularity, I just heard too. So that might light a fire under this person's ass too. Because you might, your focus might go elsewhere. And they don't want that. Burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Just don't overdo it. So if you, um, excuse me, if, if you are working and um, overworking yourself because you're like, I need money. I want this now. I want to be successful. You're getting there. Just take your time with it and don't, don't overwork yourself. Take baby steps so you don't, you know, burn yourself out because stress can cause a lot of health issues. But it's not only that, you know, if you get too tired right when you, right when your business starts peaking or whatever you're doing for work, like really reaches um, a higher level, you won't have the energy to keep up with the demand. So, you know, take your time and take baby steps with stuff is what I'm feeling. But yeah, that's what I have for you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, you know, hit me up for a personal reading if you're interested. I'm still working on some. I have a couple uploading right now and I've had a few people inbox me. So if you want to get in line, I suggest you do so because I do tend to book up pretty quickly. 
and that's why I <laughs> I haven't been posting a lot of generals because I try I'm trying to catch up because when I was sick and stuff you know I couldn't read and and whatever so I'm, I'm playing catch up with some of that but I'm almost fully caught up caught up on my past reading so I'm on my ugh, I can focus on my current ones so email me um, and like I said, join me on Patreon. Could be in the run-in to win this exposed oracle. It is for sale as well. And the prequel to Loving You is also for sale. And this is timing. But I kind of feel like... And the first 10 people to order this could be in the running to win. Or to win. <sighs> could get a free uh, Willow Vines bracelet. I have six free gifts left, I believe. Forever Diamond. Strength and Endurance. Yeah. You've really had, I, I feel like this connection has strengthened you, definitely. Um, under pressure, leveling up, one of a kind. This is a rare love. You're one of a kind, and this person knows this. You're a rarity, and they don't want to let you go. I feel like a fucking idiot is what I feel like. I feel like an asshat. But anyways, love you long time. Talk to you soon. Peace.